broken court, broken law. Hundreds of Parkdale residents currently on a rent strike take their protest to the landlord and tenant board in Midtown Toronto. They storm the hallways of the tribunal demanding the property manager Metcalf scrap the above guideline rent increases for the entire neighborhood. Well, 87 Jameson Avenue was the first of dozens of buildings under a rent strike to get a hearing at the landlord and tenant board. Today, a lawyer uh, with the Parkdale Legal Clinic was arguing against a major hike that would see rent here at this building skyrocket by 15% over the next three years. Parkdale tenants under attack, what do we do? Parkdale tenants under attack, what do we do? We know this is going to be a long process. We are in it to the end. For us, this is about protecting our homes and protecting our neighborhood. There is no end date here. Our fight is going to continue until there are no above guideline rent increases in Parkdale, and that's it. We're not backing down. We are organized, we have the resolve, and we will not accept anything but no above guideline rent increases in Parkdale. It was a ruckus start at the Landlord and Tenant Tribunal here at Young and St. Clair. Protesters delayed the hearing by more than an hour, calling for Metcalf to give in to their demands. Today's hearing was focused on 87 Jameson Avenue, the first of 12 buildings to get a day in court. Lawyer Simon Wallace is arguing on behalf of the tenants who claim the above guideline rent increases they're facing could leave them homeless. There are a number of different things that the tenants can say to challenge the landlord's above guideline increase. Right now, what I'm most interested in and the documents I was asking about today were about whether or not the landlord is taking, uh, undertaking projects which increase the cosmetic and luxury value of the building and not actually affect the substance uh, of the, what the building is about. Metcalf recently did a million dollars in upgrades to the building. Capital expenditures, they say, are justified. Metcalf is going to argue throughout this hearing that, you know, all of the repairs were justified. The million dollars in repairs, uh, it was a con condensation room, boilers, balconies had to be fixed, and it's all things that had to happen to keep this older building operating. Yeah, what we see is Metcalf neglecting their buildings, refusing to do the maintenance that they should be doing on a regular basis to keep these buildings together. They neglect tenants' units and they use this as a way to push people out of Parkdale so that they can jack up the rent. The president of Metcalf did not attend today's hearing but told me over the phone that he's tried several times to settle this out of court and even has a compromise for the tenants, but they're refusing to hear it. We have put forth a, a, a proposal on the Aggie that's less than what we applied for, and we also put out an idea about a program that could be used to, that we could work on together even to help those in need at our buildings, which are our customers and we care about them too, that people that are on a fixed income, you know, like a pensioner that only maybe gets 1% a year. My mom's 84. I see her pension income every year. She gets like 1% on most of it. Mm -hmm. We would be even willing to lower things further for those, indiv those particular individuals. Today, motions were presented on how to make this a fair hearing. The actual arguments have not yet been heard. As this process drags on, tenants withholding the rent checks are inching closer to eviction, but say they will continue to strike. This is a situation where we have to see how far Metcalf really wants to take this. Do they really want to come into our neighborhood and evict hundreds and hundreds of people? Do they want to come in and evict hundreds of families? Do they want to come in and evict elderly people, people on fixed incomes? We don't think that that's actually the appearance that they want to have in the media, and we are willing to fight this till the end. But no one is getting evicted from Parkdale. What we call on everyone in this city to do is get organized in their neighborhood, like we're organized in Parkdale, and fight against these landlords. Now, it could take weeks or even months to get another hearing date, but whatever happens here at 87 Jameson Avenue will likely set the tone for the 11 other buildings in this neighborhood that are facing above guideline rent increases.